All right. So, okay, Ephesians chapter 3. This one I wanted to actually um, make us see the action that has to do with um, suffering, but I think I'll do that in the night. I think let me just try and conclude the issue of the spirit of life and see if I can touch the other one. Amen. So let's really try and listen to this and go we touch about in Jesus' name. Um, let's have a pass of Uluwa Jinde. Am I correct? Just Jinde. Uluwa Jinde. Please let's, let's appreciate him, please. He's, um, he's one of the officials of the PFN in the city and he has, he has a passion for, for children as a strong ministry in that area and um, it's been a blessing. Thank you, sir, for coming. I was surprised to see when I came in and um, I thank God. Hallelujah. All right, so in that Ephesians, Ephesians 3, so when we read from that verse, uh, let me just read verse 8. When he said unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ? And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the ministry, which from the beginning of the world had been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ, to the intent that now to the personalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God. So I share with us that in scriptures you will see different pictures of that unsearchable riches. That we see one Bible called the riches of his goodness, forbearance, and long suffering. Say goodness, forbearance, and long suffering. Now I will touch on that. That's what that's the last thing I would likely go to do when I'm teaching us. Now, then he talks about the fact that there's one called the riches of both wisdom and knowledge. That should be Romans eleven at verse thirty three. So I mentioned that there. Then he went on to tell us about Romans 9.23 was talking about the riches of his glory. Then we saw in Ephesians 1.7 and 2.7 the riches of his grace. Hallelujah. And I also mentioned the riches of full assurance of understanding. So I mentioned that to us that these are dimensions that if you sit with it, you will understand what he's talking about. But I said that because of the way we can cover everything in the meeting, or so to say. As I'm thinking that maybe next I just give the minister as a particular particular topic, but we'll just restrain them. And yesterday, Prof was sharing with us from the area of the riches of his grace. Hallelujah. And showed us from things that we saw in the Old Testament to illustrate what God has done for us. Shut adoption. Now I'll come I'll, I'll tell you that I can say one of them about that as well. But what I'm, what I'm going is this now. I'll now start talking about the riches of his glory and read from scriptures. What that implied, you know, in Romans 9 and 3, and read again, you know, from Ephesians 1 18. And then I actually zoomed to Colossians chapter 1, verse 27, where actually Paul was now talking about the mystery, and that, that mystery is Christ in you, you know, Christ in you, the hope of glory. He was talking about, let me just read it to us. He was saying, if you look at it from um, verse 24, where he said that, who now rejoice in my suffering for you and feel love that which is behind of the affliction. I mean, in that said of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church, whereof I made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you. He also said this in Ephesians chapter 3, to fill the word of God. Even the ministry which have been hid from ages, there are that means you have seen scripture like mystery of godliness, you know, you will see some God, you see the world, mystery of his will. And um, this is about the mystery of the indwelling spirit, actually, in a deeper level. We look at this. Then you will see the mystery shared in um, First Corinthians chapter 15. You will see that as well. Hallelujah. So he said, even the mystery which had been hid from the ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this ministry among the Gentiles. That which is what? Christ in you, the hope of glory. 
So in the riches of his glory, the mysteries are unlocked. Are we together? Now, when it's unlocked, the second, something that is hidden is known. When it's known, it means that you are coming to a place of knowledge, sharp knowledge. And because you have a place of knowledge, there are things that can see on a repeated frequency of life because of knowledge. Are you with me? Because of what? Of knowledge. You know, agriculture has been done by our fathers before um, there's a body of knowledge that they now put in a book. I mean, we have fathers that did agriculture, who planted the arms, I mean, did cassava, did maize, and their results in their own local way with their implement of hose and cutlasses. Do we get that? Now, when education came in, education began to research into several aspects of agriculture, and by that now, there's more productivity than before. One, the development of own contractor, machines that can be used now to do the work of cutting grasses at a faster pace, and they're able to cut a tree at a faster pace. So somebody who's using tractor for a farm can farm in hectares. You can have a thousand hectares and farm there. But you cannot, if we can't do the work that the tractor would do, let's say, let's just stop and just clear the bush. Don't forget about planting. Just clearing the bush, just clearing the grass. You imagine you are clearing a thousand hectares with cutlasses and hose, you know? You will labor, <laughs> not to death in Jesus' name, but you may, you may, be, you may be sick after that. So, but the one of the of agriculture that came out, but even then, the fathers did by oral tradition. So we grew up to be farmers, but they led by what they have seen the farm by go with their father. Now, when knowledge came, that would of knowledge that, that came in terms of agriculture now, in different expression, in agronomy, different areas, animal science, now it can be duplicated. What is done in Ibadan, is then we have the same climate, in Jaws can be duplicated. Do you get that point? Without the person that the battle going there, just by you have access to the knowledge written in the document. Do you have it? So what happens that the region of his glory, you are able to come into knowledge that can be transferred to other generation and things are duplicated. But then you have to understand that I read a place for us in Romans 8, I mentioned the issue of the lost of love, the spirit of I mean, not the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. I want to get that. He said that we got to be free from the law of sin and death. Now I explained that about the fact that the spirit of Christ, which is in us, which is the spirit of life, actually. That that spirit of life raised Jesus from the dead. Are you following me carefully? Did what? Raised Jesus from the dead. I've shared the church before that the raising of Jesus from the dead is the highest manifestation in the physical of the demonstration of the power of God. That's why Paul wrote about it and called it the exceeding greatness of his power. Have we together? You know, people that were raised from the dead in, in scriptures from Old Testament, the of Elisha and the rest, you will see that they were prayed for. They were what? Prayed for. Talk to me now. They were prayed for. And they came back from the dead. And then Jesus too prayed for people that came back from the dead. Are we, are we together? Then they all died again. Is that not so? But nobody prayed for Jesus to rise from the dead. Are we together? Not only that, we just rose from the dead. Death was finally conquered. Hello? Death was what? You're not with me, are you with me? Death was what? Jesus did not rise from the dead to go back to the grave. Are we together? He rose from the dead to live forever. Are you with me? Not only to live forever. In a dimension of life, different from what humanity have. Are we together? Number one, that body is now immortal. Immortal means no longer subject to death. Are you following me carefully? Which of glory chapter be part two? That's what we're doing. That's the title of our message of glory. This part two. Are you following me carefully? You are, not, are you following me carefully? So, Jesus will appear without knocking the door. Are we together? It was something that he did. Are we, are we together? He could appear without knocking the door. That means that the dimension of life Jesus came into by what happened when he was risen from the dead is he transcends whatever has taken place for that time. That's what he says, the highest manifestation of God's power. So Paul called it the exceeding greatness of his what? Of his power. 
Do we, do we get that? Do we get that? And that such power we as your God are to have access to. Can you, can you see that now? Now, that will blow your mind. But without having a body of knowledge, there are things we cannot touch. Hallelujah. So what makes a flow of God's life to the believer to see the expression of riches in the realm of the glory are based on knowledge, actually. Based on what? Based on what? Now, you can stumble into it and just see something happen. It's not the same thing as having the knowledge. Amen. I can install on your laptop a particular software. I can open it, do one or two things. But a person with knowledge of that software will do much more than you're doing. I remember sometimes ago that one of my people was telling me that, you know, that he did some work in irrigation using Excel. So I was thinking, Excel at irrigation, <laughs> calculation, how did they work? But people that even wrote Excel discovered that they don't know. So that's, that's for feedbacks. Sometimes what they expect the, the, the software to do, software sometimes will do much more than that. When somebody undoes it with a different level of application. I'm not talking to us. So, I'm going to talk about the issue of the spirit of life that in the, what we say, Christ in you, the of glory, that in Christ is the fullness of the Godhead bodily. That means that in Christ, we are saying that there's the Father himself and the Holy Spirit. Are we together? I said that the Father is the Father of the glory. It's also the Son is the Lord of glory. It's also the spirit of glory. Are you with me? Are you with me? And I said that let's focus on the dimension of the spirit expressions. So, in that dimension, and I went to that Romans 8 for us. So, that Romans 8, after I read it, I gave us an example from Acts 28. Do you remember that? To describe what that means. Do you remember that? That in Acts 28, Paul was beaten by a snake, but he didn't pray by it. He just took him to the fire. They sent him to die, but he didn't die. Because now, the life and the spirit of soul has pierced through the soul and affected the body. Are you with me? So poison could no longer penetrate that body. Are you with me carefully? Are we together? So the snake poison had no power over Paul's body. It's the dimension of what the spirit of life could do when our bodies captures it. Amen? I also said to us that in that place, he started to pray for the sick. When that happened, um, Publius, there was sickness, he prayed, but he prayed, and that man was healed. All of the way, everything started to come, and Paul prayed. So I said to us that, when you pray sick like that, we'll say, say, lay hands on them, that what is bringing healing to people? There's something bringing healing to people. And how do we do? Now, we know it because when this woman, in Mark chapter 5, with your blood, said to herself, if I touch him, he said, if I touch him of his garment, he was sure that she would be old. Now, when she touched Jesus, Bible said that Jesus asked and said, she was old, Jesus asked that virtue went out of him. Say virtue. Say virtue now. Now, we say virtue went out of him. That word for virtue there is the word for power. It's the word for dunamis. What Bible said that when you receive the Holy Spirit, if you, I mean, you say, when you go to one point, you receive power. That word power there is dunamis. That word virtue in Mark 5 is also dunamis. So he's saying dunamis flowed out of him. Are we together? Well, it is a context of God's life flowing as dunamis. Are you with me? So what caused the healing is a flow that came from the body of Jesus. Jesus has something flowed out of him. Am I talking to us? Now, that substance that flowed is a reality, is a real substance, but it's life. And it produces God's power. Are we together? And that woman was healed. Later, the next chapter or so, a lot of people were touching Jesus, they were getting healed. They followed the example of the woman. Are you with me? So I said, in relation to that now, so when you lay hands on the sick, something flows out. Am I talking to us? When you lay hands on the sick, there's virtue that flows out that caused the healing to happen. So the contact is not just your theoretical mind that when you lay on the sick, they shall recover. When you surely lay on the sick, something happens. Are you with me? Touch your neighbor and say, are you following? So when you lay on the sick, the life of God flows out. Are you following me carefully? 
Now, why am I saying this now? You have realized that you have not seen any results. The problem is that you don't understand the dimension of that ministry in relation to the spirit of life that is at work inside of you. That's one major problem. That's why, at a point, people like John Lake, he will lay hands, he will say the fire is not, he will say it's not flowing through. How did he know? It means that when the flows can be felt, wow. am I talking to us? Yes, it can be what? It can be felt. The first time I saw fibroid yield, I felt it, I felt that something came out of my finger. Am I talking to you? Yes, am I, how can I explain this? There was, I went together. I was sure that something came out of my finger. It's God's life flowing through the body. And the fibroid disappeared instantly. And the person is there. So it's not, the person is there. Our clothes become bigger. So the person is there in the subject I'm pointing to you. Some people don't know you, but you are here. So it's not, uh, are we together? Are we together? But that's the spirit of life at work. Amen. If you study the individual spirit in terms of his expression in the Testament, you will see a lot of things around the riches that we have. That's all the authority issues of Christ. Hallelujah. Ah, please help me get my president. Please, we have a PFN professional leader here. Please, sir, you're welcome, sir. Please come and sit down, sir. Come and sit down, sir. Ah. Sorry. Amen. All right. The service of giving honor to whom honor is due. Sometimes it can be very, very, very overextended. I have to make this very difficult. Even Jesus was preaching and he greeted. You don't believe it. Should we go there? Jesus greeted now when preaching. Is that not so? Because see, we have to talk something that we do some things are not really actually balanced. I understand that anatomy big there's a move, you cannot break that kind of flow. But there's no way you can break a flow and still continue to flow. We have understanding in Jesus' name. Thank you, sir, for coming, sir. Glory to Jesus. So are you following me carefully? So, what I'm trying to say is this that the same power that preserves God's post body from the poisoning, that neutralizes the, that the poison cannot go to skin pores, to have effect on pore, to kill him. That same power was at work when you lay hands on the sick. Do you get the point? I'm regaling. It's called life. So that's why the word Zoe cannot be captured by the word eternal life, living long. Zoe is more than living long. Am I talking to us? Because Jesus didn't live long now, in terms of our long life. I'm not against long life, oh. I believe in long life. So, Zoe is also responsible for long life and then for people that will live forever. Are we together? But I'm saying that Zoe has different context. That in the context of Paul now, the poison of a snake had no power. You will take deadly things, they will not hurt you. That's what's happening in that place. Are we together? That's what I'm saying. You can tread on scorpion and serpent. This is a use stick. It's a tread. It's, your, it's, your, it's, a, it's a picture of taking domain and authority. I want to get that. That's what I was talking about. Amen and amen and amen. And the adoption of literal and spiritual to it. So, I'm asking that when Paul lay hands and do so, what's happening is this. At work is the mystery of Christ in you. Where the life of God, by the spirit of life, which is a dimension of the Holy Spirit, God's life, begins to flow out and healing begins to take place in that place. You know, when they saw that he did not die, they said, maybe this guy is a God. And that's on the, that's on the first time that Paul was secret that to be a God in scriptures. Are you with me? In Acts 14, when Paul spoke to that lame man, and the man was healed, they called him gods. Because people saw that what has happened cannot really be obtained in the realm of men. You know, am I talking to us? Like they told the king that to have your dream remembered and interpreted, only the gods can do it. So that there are even men that are into spirit transaction. Because they are astrologers, they are, they are magicians. They know that only God can do this one. Follow me carefully. Are you getting my point? So I'm saying that in this which is there's a life that brings dominion over sickness. Are we together? So to break it down for my, let me go to my um, template of breaking this down. That I said, body of knowledge. Now, and just as I've understood now, I've seen that is a lot of things happening, whereby you can even duplicate the dimension of life. That means you can teach people and they can go and practice what has been taught and they will see results. It's not the same thing as impartation. Because impartation means that you have an installation into you, but installation of a, soft, of a software that's got PowerPoint does not mean you can use it well. You need knowledge to use it well. So one point is that people have impartation and they don't grow in knowledge. 
They are not allowing Christ to teach them. So the Bible says that John said, "There are nothing in you that will teach you all things." That means the impartation will receive. You can be taught on how to manifest the impartation. Am I talking to us? So you know, part of impartation, they found out they are not in meetings. They come back five years after. Impartation has not seen anything because they are like a software on a laptop, and the owner cannot use it. It lacks knowledge. Glory to Jesus. I did job information system. There's ArcView software, and I've used it by God's gift severally. Now, imagine that you have not done anything with ArcView before. Even though you're a good person, you're a programmer, because you love other software. If I give you a laptop, there's ArcView on it. You'll never touch it. But in that laptop that you have, is the capacity for an ArcView software to work and do the work of an ArcView. Am I talking to us? But you, you don't, I mean, are we together? But you don't have the knowledge to use it. So we have a lot of believers with installations of grace and ability. There are mobile computers that is not functioning properly. Uh, let me how can I put it this way? That means you have you have things in you that you don't know how to work in it. So what activation does at times that activation brings you to touch it, but touching does not mean you have the knowledge of it. Knowledge is very important, and that's why we need spirit of truth. Coming to truth is coming to knowledge. I'm not talking to us. Coming to what knowledge? So one of the works of the Holy Spirit is not just to lead us. He teaches. He does what? You are not talking to me. He does what? Those people teaches. Because that's what we'll talk about if there's time today. So, give me Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 11 and 12. So, if you consider the currency expression of glory, it's more than, it's more than currency. Currency expression of glory. I'll be together. I've thought this before, the valley, but I was talking of doing that. But let me use the example to establish. Because if you get this one, now what I'm sharing now is just one of many things. I'm not talking to us, but because of our time and my own sessions, I have to just do what I can do. Glory to Jesus. Wisdom is good. Say wisdom. wisdom. With an inheritance. By it, there is what? So here is the currency. Wisdom is as the currency here. Say so by it, there is profit to them that does what? That does what? Separates in the sun from under the sun. They're not the same. So the people that work in the currency of wisdom, the realm of their existence or habitat, is a realm that they are not under the sun. They see the sun. Do you get the point? Do you get the point? Are, are you getting my point? Now follow me carefully. Verse 12 now. Verse 12. And I say, for wisdom is what? A defense. A defense. And I said, and money is what? So it's placing wisdom and money on a currency expression. But money is a defense for people that are not the sun. Hello? Hello? It's a defense that works in the earth, available to believers and unbelievers. I might talk to us. And I said that, but the excellency of knowledge, sharp knowledge, because that's one that comes with wisdom is that wisdom giveth life to them that what? It gives what? So it does, it, there's a definition of working on wisdom that just money cannot touch. So it says to me, money is a defense and it's a currency and what it can do is locked up under the sun. So likewise, wisdom is a defense for them that see the sun says the higher currency than money. Now, give me Isaiah chapter 4, verse 5. Wherever I get to, tell somebody, if you are sleeping now, I'm telling you the enemies at work. <laughs> I'm, telling, I'm telling you the truth. Because I'm speaking, if you go back and listen to it, there's something I'm saying. There are times that you are catching something in the main thing. You are catching something in the main thing. Am I talking to us? The person says something, a scripture pops up, another one pops up, another one pops up. You understand it, you practice it, you have a major breakthrough. So if you are sleeping, that may not happen, except you're in a trance. <laughs> <laughs> and the Lord creates upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion. Sam Mount Zion. Now, Mount Zion in scripture is a picture of the heavenly places. Are we together? A picture of the heavenly realm. A picture of dwelling where God dwells. You know, yesterday we were talking about are you from Zion or you're from Ibano? 
Do you get the point? Ha. Told us what I was talking about yesterday. Now, I was talking about what I was talking about yesterday. He said, and upon our assembly is a cloud and smoke by day, and the shining of flaming fire by what night? For upon all, shut upon all, glory shall be a defense. Say wisdom is a defense. Money is a defense. Say money is a defense. Wisdom is a defense. Now, we're having a third one. Say the glory. So, when you say glory is a defense, what comes to your heart? That's why I said that something that we don't see in scriptures if it doesn't open to you by the Holy Spirit. Now, to understand it is that here too is the currency of glory and is higher than the currency of wisdom. Because from glory, wisdom will come. That's how the riches of wisdom and knowledge coming from what? Glory. And that's how wisdom can now give life to them that have it. I'm not talking to us. But glory itself is a dimension of life that is a currency. Now, my, my template for it that I've said a lot of things is that shut the outer court. You know now. She's the outer court now. Now, if you don't know anything about outer court, you have already read the Bible from Old Testament. You have read the New Testament. So, and you have read... New Testament, you have skipped the book of Hebrews. You have not read Hebrews. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So, I'm saying to us now that in the Old Testament, Moses was given a pattern to build after, and he built what they call the tabernacle of Moses. Are you with me? Now, the pattern of Moses was given, it was shown to him. And God speaks through that pattern a lot through our scriptures. If you understand what Moses saw, you see many things through our scriptures. In fact, Book of Revelation, to understand very well, you have to say a lot of things through that. For that, this is the book of Daniel. I cannot understand without understanding this pattern. You will read though and be intelligent, but don't be spiritual intelligence, to be cerebral intelligence. Are you with me? Say the attack court. Now, the attack court, I've told us several, is where in the building, in the building of in the that Moses built, that they built, is that it has no cover. So the light in that place is the natural sun and the moon. So it's a picture of the earth realm. Am I talking to us? Am I talking to us? Are you following me carefully? And what's the light there? The sun. So if money is a defense of them that are under the sun, where is money most valuable? Atta court. So if you're an atta court believer, your only currency of life is money, which is the creation of man. God did create money. Are you with me? It's money. So if you are given anything to do by God, your first question is money. That's why a lot of people have not done anything about their vision. Money. Because they don't know how to get to the capital that I mentioned that is not money. There's a capital that will produce money. It will produce properties. It will produce people. Am I talking to us? Am I talking to us? Especially when you're in the will of God. Hello? The supply I'm talking about cannot come if you're not in the will of God. Especially when you're in the will of God. Am I talking to us? So save money as a defense, as a currency, is for them that are under the sun. Now, I'm not saying we don't need it, though. Hello? We need it. Don't follow me carefully. But don't forget, as a child of God, you live in two realms presently. Say, I live in two realms. Say, physically, I'm here on earth. Say, spiritually, according to Ephesians chapter 1 and 2. Okay, according to Ephesians chapter 2. <laughs> I will raise up with Jesus. I'm seated in heavenly places. In Christ Jesus. Do you get that? So, you are living in another realm that has its own economy, its own civilization. There is a civilization of heaven. The economy of heaven. Are we together? It's not the same as that of the earth. Are you with me? Are you with me? There's inflation here. There's no inflation in that civilization. There's deflation here. In that place, there's nothing like that. Are you with me? And that's why you have to understand it. Amen. And that's why men that understand that civilization and the economy and know how the currency work, they can always get money when it's needed. There is nothing about shady, it's about knowing. So, and when they get money, for them, it's not only Naira. They can get dollars. They can get past telling. Because it just has to be money. So you can come in different currency. See, I understand. Even though you have not yet understood, but just follow me carefully. You understand Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So now, when you move to the next, if you leave the outer court, now in the outer court we have 
is a picture of where our journey of faith in the sense begins. In the sense. That's the teaching from the Old Testament. I think from the New Testament is a different thing. You teach from the holy place, most holy place. Now, when you leave the altar court and begin to go, the high priest is going. He goes to a place called the holy place. Shut holy place. In that holy place is covered. So the light in that holy place is the light from the golden candlesticks, which is a picture of the spirit of the Lord, spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, spirit of fear and I mean, the knowledge and the fear of the Lord. Do you get that point? So the light there, that's the light in that place. Am I talking to us? And that is spirit dimension. Now, as my younger brother has shared, and I've come to believe that, is that everything in that place, might is talking about power, but it's talking very well, is the river, the seven spirit of the Lord is the river of seven expression of wisdom, of which might that come as power is one of it. Am I talking to us? Am I talking to us? If you have the last to do wisdom in scriptures, am I talking to us? God only has to do with wisdom in scriptures. Are you with me? So, it's the seven river of wisdom, actually. So, then you have the table of shoe bread. And then you have the altar of incense in the Old Testament. Shout the Old Testament. Because in the New Testament, in Hebrews 9, that altar of incense has moved into the most holy place. I'm going somewhere. Just try to follow me. Just follow the theory. Then you get the practical. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. So, when you say wisdom is a defense, is a currency to them that see the sun. Hello. Living in the realm of life, of a dimension beyond the earth. Am I talking to us? Where you see the sun. That means your light now is that you are governed by the spirit of the Lord. Are you with me? In the expression of his river. Do you get that point? Do you get that point? And this is where an idea can bring money. Do you get it? Do you get it? And then I can do what? Bring money. And once you enter here, you're already joining beyond time. About, I'm not talking, talking to us. In this place, there's time. There's what? By the time you're joining here, you are going beyond the realm of time gradually. Amen. 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 And I can prove it with the items there, but that's not my focus. Let me just leave that. That's how we say prayers are deathless. Prayers are what? Deathless. If you pray properly, it will only achieve its cause in fullness of time. Now, See the most holy place. Chat most holy place now. In the most holy place, you go in and then you see one item, the Ark of the Covenant. Then you see two angels on top, they are called cherubs. The Bible said that God dwells in their midst. He that dwells within the cherubim, shine forth. So there is no physical light there. There is no can do there. Are we together? And when the I praise guys there, you can see. Because the glory of God is the light of that place. Are you with me? Now, that realm is the picture of where God dwells. It's the picture of the heavenly places. Where David was saying that he that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. That's what he's talking about. He's talking about the most holy place. He's not talking about you opening Psalm 91 and something like this. No. So he's talking about a believer that is under the sun. Are we together? It's a believer that has that life of the most holy place. Are you with me? Yes, Are you really with me? Yes. So, here is where the glory is a defense, which means the glory is a currency. Are we together? That manifests in a dimension of wisdom. Now, that word wisdom captures so many other things. It can capture grace. Are we together? So, here is where the glory is a defense. So, what we are talking about is the riches of glory is a realm in the heavenly places. So it's not something that is available to an unbeliever. Get my point. Hello? When there's rain, it falls on the believer and the unbeliever. But the dimension of blessings, what Paul is talking about is for the believer. It's not for somebody who's not in the faith. Now you can be in the faith and not know how to tap this and work with it. So are you with me? And the other part is this. When you have the glory, there's wisdom, there's money. Are you with me? Are you with me? The man with the glory, we have wisdom and what? Wisdom and what? Money. 
you get the point now? Am I talking to us? Very important. So I'm saying here is a realm that talk about this different civilization. Different what? And it's governed by the life of God. The father of glory himself. Father means source. Is the source of glory. Is the fountain of glory. Is the spring of what? Glory. I follow me carefully. I follow me carefully. Just and follow this and I'll, I'll give an impression very, very quickly. So here now, when we are talking about here now, you must understand this. He's talking about a quality of life different from here. The life of the believer is a different quality of life. We are not just living by bios. That's why there are things in medical field right under the head that we are living here, you have dominion over. So what they say is not possible medical field, it's possible here. Are we together? Now, there are also knowledge in the medical field that came from here to solve areas of life that they cannot solve in the past. That makes sense to us. I'm saying so. So they say something is an incurable disease that has been like for 100 years. If there's a solution, it came from glory realm. I want to go down. If there's a solution, it's the life of God from the glory dimension that brings the solution. And it will come as a body of knowledge. Are you really with me now? So in this place, you check scriptures. And I can give it to us. Let me just give us. So when Jesus walked the earth, Jesus was living the life of the earth. That's what I was talking about the Son of Man that is on earth and also in heaven at the same time. Are you with me? Telling that he's having a life from another realm. So when Jesus manifested that life, Jesus walked in dominion over sickness. Over what? Over what? Because God's plan is that heaven and earth will look alike. So sickness was not. Yes, now that from beginning now. It was the sin that changed the frequency. That's why sin changes spiritual channels. That's why we have to be very careful there. Yeah. Who don't like talking about it? He said, my dear, sin is harmful. You cannot be living in sin. I say, grace, you are bound. No. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, the dominion of sin in Jesus' life on the head. You know, they saw it differently. You know, you won't see things about healing like that so much in the Testament. There is, but it's not so much. Am I talking to us? Like Naaman, like Abraham praying for, are we together? And they got healed. And people that were buried in the house of Abimelech, they gave birth. But in the Testament, you see numerous healings. From Matthew into the community of Book of Acts. Am I talking to us? Now, dominion over sickness is to the expression of the spirit of life as part of the mystery of Christ, I mean, of Christ in you and me, the hope of glory. Are we together? So when you are laying hands on the sick and they are recovering, you are spreading from the glory realm. Primarily. Primarily. Now, depending on your work of faith, you can be spending by the currency that is also called faith, child's faith. Yeah. And it can be something that is called anointing. It's not the same as faith. Glory is always glory. Because it produces all of them. So, healing that comes by your dominion or level of faith is part of the currency. But I say that you are spending 10 era. And then the anointing are spending 10 million. I don't have to teach it today, but just get that from me. Because when you are in the anointing, this dimension cannot be actually reproduced by itself. Are we together? This one can be reproduced. And this is also very important. Hello? That means that if you pray in a meeting, I have a particular conversation in a particular way. It's by the anointing. In another meeting, it doesn't come the same way. But by faith, it can happen the same way. So the prayer of faith has the ability to heal the sick. Same prayer of faith from time to time. Are we together? That's why people like Charles and Francis will teach about healing the sick and they'll give you commands. They are talking about the area of faith. Area of what? But Baba of Pai is not the same thing. Baba of Pai is more in the anointing realm. Share the anointing. Because the anointing realm, God will tell him, in this meeting, I'm healing 14 cripples. 
If there are 18 cripples, only 14 will be healed. Hello? Are you getting that? It's different. In the glory realm, God is just sovereign. People are healed without your permission, without your prayers, before you get to the meeting. In the glory realm, your faith is only dead. Hello? In the anointing, your faith is needed to believe in what God has said to you. Do you get the difference? In this realm, is where people are about the they will say that, you know, when I came up, daddy told me that already 60 people have been healed in this meeting today. He has not started teaching. And the people came out, they are already healed. Do you get the point? That is where people can step into a city and things can depart. That's why we have to understand something that when we talk less of power too, we are denying ourselves of a lot of things. It's the poverty life in the spiritual. Poverty in what? The spiritual. Am I talking to us? I mean, the men that walk the earth, not in the Bible time, in contemporary history, and they step into a city and sickness disappeared. All of the I'm not saying, do you get my point? If God's not calling you to something, pray and let me tell you, He's not calling you to that dimension. Not that you have been taught to shut that supernatural because of fear of going to error. Hallelujah. But where I'm going is this. Go at the glory realm. So I'm saying we see dominion over sickness. It's a product via the channel of the spirit of life. Are you following me carefully? As part of the riches of his glory. Is that clear? Is that clear? Shall dominion over sickness. As you see Jesus walking in that severely. Matthew chapter 8, 1 to 4. I'm not reading it. It's about the leopard that was cleansed. That was dominion over sickness. You will see dominion. Uh, I mean, that's dominion over, sorry, over diseases. Over sickness was the one that happened um, where the man that came to pray and the servant was healed. Matthew 5, 8, 5 to 13, can write down. But just listen to me. There's dominion over sickness. There's dominion over diseases. They're not the same. Are we together? And there's dominion over demons. Shut demons. So, if somebody is here in the earth realm and he has money, are you with me? And he's a Yoruba man. Shut Yoruba man. And his family members just don't like him. And somebody in the family member went to a native doctor. And then they invoke the spirit of Abano. Where's my long arm? Where now? Stay Abano. The spirit of Abano is a spirit that will cause you to start spending money and you won't have results until the money is drained away. In fact, it's a spirit that drains away what you have. Am I talking to us? If they attack you with Abano, are you with me? You'll be getting jobs. You'll be losing money. The money will drain away, not by being wasteful, but there's a spirit at work that takes the money. Am I talking to us? He's not drinking beer or he's not humanizing. Hello? But because of dominion over <laughs> demons, you can say, take your hands off my money. People don't even know that sometimes your lack of money is demonic. It was Baba Regu that first made me to realize that. I went for meeting Baba Regu's place. They start talking about how they can hinder our finance. And I want to go and study it. So there's what I was saying sometimes. I just stood up, I just spoke and prayed about it. And there was a shift. I'm serious. Sometimes that financial issue is not natural. I'm not talking to us. It may be spirit related. So in this place, working hard. I mean, somebody that has a lost spirit. Spirit that drain away money. Attacking your father. Your father is being attacked by demons. You don't say you should work at that. You say be diligent. <laughs> Am I talking to us? As you're getting diligent, the more <laughs> diligence will not change your situation in this dimension. Are you getting my point? I'm not saying don't be diligent too. But I'm saying that the person that, that kind of attack, diligence will not mean anything. You say maybe uh, that job, um, let them increase your salary pay. Oh. <laughs> you will still be poor financially because of that. Are we together? You really get that. That's why we need dominion. And that this realm is where there's dominion over demons. Are we together? Over what? There's a glory realm. So that's all part of what life produces. That's why the quality of that Marxist thing is that you will cast out devils. In fact, theologians, they were, they were attacked. Book of the NIV does not have that part in it. 
There are some Bibles that don't have that part in it. But you know that they were attacked. Because devil doesn't want to know that you can cast them out. <laughs> you cast out devils. Are we together? And part of that conversation brings the glory dimension of you speaking in tongues. Are we together? They will speak in new tongues. Hello. Because that speaking with new tongues is a technology on its own. With diverse application that can bring to understand how to walk in the express spirit of grace, life, and rest like that. Am I talking to us? Am I talking to us? Say dominion over demons. Let me give another example. Ah, my time is fast spent to oh, Jesus. There was a man that my father boy shared about. This man now had a company that manufactures. All the late machine, all the machine for manufacturing, they are not working. They've tried to repair it, they are not working. So the man made a body boy many years back. One of the most probably I listened to that was sharing this. My body boy now lay hands on his hands. That should go back to the <laughs> to lay hands on the machine. He lay hands on the machine as he started him. They started working. Because what was wrong with the machine is not a mechanical problem. It is witchcraft problem. Are you with me? Are you with me? It is incantation-based problem. Are we together? You don't want to be solving with mechanical engineering knowledge. You want to, I want to talk to you. Or that you have done mechanic work. You want to use the craft knowledge of mechanic to solve which craft problem. Will it work? Go to Jesus. <laughs> it won't work. But by dominion over demons, you step to my should begin to work. Come on, you shared. Glory to Jesus. I told you, my brother was working somewhere and the, their laptop had this virus. And my brother, my brother knew because of his work with God that this virus, they did everything. My brother is very intelligent. I mean, he used all the software, he didn't, didn't care. I had to meet a report. And it was their computer partner that enchanted, hey, Jesus, I'm only Nigerians. So they have to use that kind of enchantment to do something good. <laughs> they enchanted the laptop. So they had desire that could not be solved. So he told his mate that this is spiritual. That was fine that you're not serious. It's like, you know, it's like don't kill on here. And then my brother said, let's fast. So they fasted and prayed for three days. So he laid hands on the laptop, spoke to it. They opened it. He booted and started working. She the bottom. The riches of his glory. Shall the riches of his glory. This is why they say there's a land for me where there are witches. That's the best way to buy land. Yes, now. Except God's telling you not to go there for reasons that we may not know. But where should you buy land? That's the best way to buy land. Because, you know, so when we run away from such place, we lack understanding. You buy land there and they will start vacating. Are you with me? Where well, General David bought his properties that was used in Malaysia. Hindus, all kind of religion were there. They were vacating one by one. They used to even share, um, they share, band, I mean, Hindus are here, they are here. Church, demons. Angels <laughs> here, demons here. They vacate one by one. But when you don't understand the of his glory, what do you do? You are afraid. By your stepping into that place, what happens? There will be a shift. Before we came here, we were told that people come to this land, they will check it, they will not come back. So that's what I was told, if I remember very well. Where's Pastor Shiji? Okay. That's what we were told, that they come here, they will not come back. So when he told the people that we are going to come back, they didn't know that we are going to come back. So I told them maybe they have enchanted the land, so that nobody will buy the land. But they made a mistake. We came here to pray one morning with all the leaders. Where the souls of food has touched, we are possessed. That's the principle. And we are here today. Is that okay? Is that okay? Very, very soon, by the mercy of God, the witches around will sell their properties. They can be hearing me. I'm serious. That's what will happen eventually. Or they will vacate over time. Glory to Jesus. Are we together? So you are afraid of enchanted properties. You understand deeper expression of the riches of his glory. When you go there, everything begins to change. Are we together? Either those which is get, start getting born again. Amen. Amen. Samaria was enchanted by a man. Philip went there. Is that not so? 
and the man became a follower. Even though he was faking it. Why? He saw, they call him the power of God. He saw a power greater than whatever he has ever touched. Are you with me? Are you really with me? So we must understand that. So there's dominion over sicknesses, diseases, over demons. Hallelujah. And then there's dominion over nature. Over what? Scriptures, let me just give scripture for diseases I've given us, Matthew 8, 1 to 4. For, um, that's what this is, for sicknesses, Matthew 8, 5 to 13. For demons, Matthew 8, 16 and 17. Then Matthew 9, 32, 35. There are several of them. These are about Lord Jesus as a model, as a pattern for this. Are we together? Are we together? So what Jesus did was that he became a seed that multiplied himself through us, so we cannot walk in this. So diseases, sicknesses, demons, and they shout nature. So that's 23 to 27. So this is several that Jesus will speak to the wind and they will obey him. Say, what manner of man is this? It's a man living from the glory realm as a pattern for us. That is a new quality of life. So when Jesus gave us salvation, what we have is not just biological life. How much together? We now have life that is in the class that people can say you are God. So we call it God kind of life. Are we together? What kind of what? Life. It's called Zoe. Amen. So, nature. And that is, that's the truth. Let me tell you one that you can believe. There are two stories in my spirit. One, you may not believe it. So let me tell you one that I can believe. Yes. The one I can believe, I was in Malaysia, and they called in one of the meetings that were in Malaysia. So, there was this fire outbreak in Australia, and they don't know how to, it will be stopped. I thought, just said, let's pray. And then we prayed there and he spoke that the fire should stop so naturally. And they called in like two minutes after that it has stopped. Hello. Hallelujah. Yes. Dr. David went to a place, I don't know this place now. There's a place in that Australian side, another country, that they had this volcano eruption. So when the volcano eruption, people have moved from that way, place. Nobody's living there. So when he came for their meeting, went to their nation, went for their meeting there, he spoke to the volcano and asked the place to be rebuilt. It rained after he spoke. After the rain, the volcano stopped. Today, people are living in the volcano area. Because there's no more volcano after that. The man is still alive, but he's not dead. He's still alive. So he's not, I don't want to use, I want to get say the Bible, Jesus did, Jesus did. Mm-mm. that people are still alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Let me tell you one that can believe in Nigeria. There's another one I will say that you will not believe that one. So one that we can believe. Some of our fathers in the Apostolic Church, where some of us grew up, when we do meetings those days, and there's rain, they will say to Yoruba, Ah, you old Joe. In Russia, come my brother. In Russia, come lower. Oh, I do do. Parents see me. My parents see me. Oh, she walay Roma. What have I said? They are saying that rain. One servant cannot do some another servant. <laughs> that you wait. I will finish doing my service. After my service, you can now rain. Then the rain will clear. Then we will do service. Why don't we service? They will not say, eh, hey, get your house though, because it will rain one hour's time. Do you get the point? If you don't get to ask before one last time, rain will catch you. <laughs> Hello? Demonstrating dimensions of God. I'm going somewhere. Now, what has happened? Life is what is causing the rain not to come down. Or it's time to avoid to come down. Am I talking to us? A dominion over demons because we carry the spirit of life. That's why he said, What's the law of, law of spirit of life? Are set us from the law of sin and death. It's not just about walking foot of the spirit, though, and not committing sin. It's that you have been taken away from a realm. Are we together? You are into another realm of life. Are we together? And the loss of that realm is not the same thing as the law of the other realm. So we say gravity. When the aerodynamics takes you away from gravity, there are two different laws. Are we together? There are two different laws, though. The law of a plane in the air is not the same thing as that which is of a car on the ground. Am I talking to us? 
So what we talk about that loss of life has set us free from sin of death. It's talking about we have come into an habitat of life with frequencies that has dominion over this realm. And that's why it's possible to say we can mortify the deeds of the flesh. Hallelujah. Are you following me? So dominion over nature. Start over nature. Dominion over sicknesses, diseases. Are we together? Shout demons. Shout nature. Then over war, death again. Sicknesses, diseases, demons, nature, and death. And that's why it's possible, I've seen again and again and again, that if you can pray for a dead person, they can come back to life. That's the reason why. And not just that, a dead business can rise again. So we are carriers of resurrection life and power because of the spirit of life at work. That's what that raised Jesus from the dead, that quickens our mortal bodies. Am I talking to us? Not only that, death in your body can be reversed. In terms of what? Aging is the form of death. When you begin to age. Am I talking to us? So you can see people who belong to the Lord and they are visible like Baba Michael Ye is well, well over eight. He's not looking it. He's not looking it. You will see them, some of them are looking like 50 something years old. Am I talking to us? The power of life at work. So the aging of your body can be reversed and you look younger than your age. Are you with me? And it is real. Check people that are into, particularly into morality, like into morality, and they are 22, 23 years old. I'm going to be more 30, I'm more 35, don't you marry? Because sin actually causes the aging of the body too, particularly the morality. That's how I'm talking about the fact that you know, when you're sinning with your body, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Hello? Do the check. The fact that you will see that they are really aged in their body is sin. Glory to Jesus. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. We got the Jesus name. So there's dominion over death. Over what? Yeah. Over what? Yeah. Have you seen scriptures? You know examples of you know Jesus. You know praying like Jairus' daughter in uh, Mark chapter five. You know how she was sick. Then finally she died and she was healed. Amen. Then not only that, there's dominion over time. And I think I will pause here. There's a win over poverty that brings you supply, meaning that you will not lack, not just money, you won't lack any good thing. Are you with me? Do we know over time? Short time. There are different applications to that. The one I like sharing most times is that it is only with believers that you're going to hear things like somebody 60 years old has never given birth and not given birth. American science tells you that it's not possible or it's difficult, but in God it is possible. Am I talking to us? Am I talking to us? So the hope of the believer is not, you know, stand up by, by, by just time. People about it go. That's why people like Moses at 80 can have a vision. Am I talking to us? So for the believer, some people get born again at 70. Life can begin for him at 70 if they are well taught. Because knowledge is very important. He'd have the light of God that need to have at 70. You don't need to think, ah, because I've seen people that attack people at that people. But the man, you have said, said his life. But in Christ, it can be recovered. Hallelujah. Because yeah, I don't like it when you know, because there are people that are very old. And some of them, we don't want them to die that way. They're not getting born again at 70. They're not telling to, so you're not giving them a gospel of legalism. They are telling that they don't can be done. No. At 70, with proper teaching, higher, they can be buoyant. They can serve God. They can still do exploit. In fact, truth is this. They can live to 120. Glory to Jesus. So they can enjoy 50 years of enjoying the adventure in God. So if you understand this, the way you preach your gospel is going to be different. Are you with me? Amen. So let me just share this. Let me just share one. How do you administer the spirit of life? Glory to Jesus. John 63. John 63. Ah, I don't have time for this. John 63. I don't have time for this, though. There's no time for this. So, 
because I need to talk about. So I found out that why we have dunamis as a conduit for that light to flow. Dunamis is a dimension of resource that we can say needs a daily download. Hello. It's a dimension of power flow that looks like it's not the same as Exusia. Hello? Mass extends on Exusia basis. That's what we born again today. Who does not know anything? Can learn on the sick, in the right atmosphere, the right mindset, and see them recover. But Dunamis space is not the same thing. Are you with me? Yes, so it looks like a commodity in the spirit that by use needs to be refilled. Am I talking to us? Yes, Am I talking to us? Yes, However, I also know that there's a dimension of work with God that looks like you have eaten a water table. But you're not in the water table. I'm not talking to you guys. So you will see you're being filled again and again with the Holy Spirit. Am I talking to us? Are you following me carefully? Yes, so how do you come through the daily download of dynamics? Two scriptures. Colossians 3. Being rich in the word of God. Continuous meditation brings in that flow. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Ephesians 5. Brings in that flow. Are you with me? Are you following me carefully? However, that flow comes in. That means you can be a carrier of power and you don't know. And the sick can touch you by faith, they can be healed. Remember the story that I got like, let me just give me five minutes extra. I will, I will run with this. Uh, uh, should I pause? Are you sure? Yes, I'll share with us now in the riches of glory, in the realm of glory. You have currency that can produce dominion over sickness, diseases, demon, nature, death, and dominion over time. And several to one, you can have women over poverty by having supply anywhere upon the earth. If, I, if you throw me into England today, I will survive. If you throw me into not survive care, I will live lavishly, not survive. I will try. That's the right one. Thank you. Not survive. Am I talking to us? So I think I should pause here, Abby. My time is up. But I was looking for you, I know here. Yeah. But you want to hear this one. So do you have yeah, talking about? So, there is the Zoe in the dimension of this life in your body. Is there in your spirit? Hmm? In endless quantity. Because of the Holy Spirit dwelling in you. Are you following me carefully? Are you following me carefully? Yes, Why? The Holy Spirit is dwelling in you. So, the sort of life is there. Endless quality. Are we together? Yes. Are we together? Yes. When we begin to pray in the Holy Ghost, why you need the word of God is this. The scripture begins to shape your mind as a tank enlarging to trap dunamis. So, when your eyes are enlarged, you can see that the blind can see. If you can't see it, you can't go to where I'm going eventually. This is the end point. You can't go there. Are we together? So, your heart has to be allowed to see some of those things. Now, that happens as you stay in the world. You begin to have a new perspective. A level come, your soul is structured. Are you with me? Are you with me? By, so, being rich in the world gets into that. And first manifestation is utterance. You can have psalms in the spiritual songs. But you can get to a level that can work in creative miracles. Are we together? In the labor. Are we together? Now, the praying the Holy Ghost that you are doing is pulling Zoe as a resource in dummies that begins to flow into a frequency that can go through your soul and your body. Are we together? Are we together? So that was another good said. He always going to matter to pray. Power, power, power. I said, You have power. He didn't know. So one day was come from the mountain and he fell. And as a fact, he rolled down. The cripples that were there beneath the mountain, when he touched them, all of them walked. Wow. That's the day he realized that he has been carrying power he didn't know. That's what lack of knowledge does. I want to get that. Now, if you get this, you will see miracle this year. You don't see, don't give up. Go to Jesus. Because there are sometimes that God is not healing everybody. That's the truth. So I don't use heal everybody to say God has. I mean, everybody's only to say that God has not worked. No. Even Jesus' ministry, he didn't heal everybody. And that's how you say he healed them all. So, hello, you know, our fathers of faith meetings, they didn't heal everybody. Some of them, people still go back with their own aid. Are we together? But 
because we focus on the testimony of people that are healed, we don't realize that there are people that meeting that have not been healed. So you now you pray for two people, they are not healed, they are bothered. So did the meeting of 100, maybe about 30 people were, were, were sick, 15 got healed. You are not talking about the remaining, remaining 15. You, you are now discouraged. Am I talking to us? That's as well as many of you guys. So, to administer it is that you will see, you will know. Hmm. Let me not say more than what I should say. It is the spirit of quickness, the flesh profited to what? The words that I do what? They are what? Now, when I say the words here, these are not just words that are just ordinary. These are words that Paul now called them or trans. Hello? What did Paul call it? So you see Paul calling about utterance. He said in the Corinthian church they were enriched in utterance. So utterance is applicable to teaching. So I can be teaching and speaking words. It's not just English. There's utterance. I'm about to talk to you. So that's where the word is going for. I'm about to talk to you. So now, that dimension of life now, that means that word that person speaks and they're alive. As long as it's happening to people. Now for the sick or in all this realm of dominion, what happens is that when God speaks to you and says, a million social person in this meeting. When you open your mouth and you speak, because it's ordinary to you, you are not realizing that you are speaking with utterance. The words you speak and say, right now, that cough is gone. There's life and spirit going forth from you to achieve what has been done. So that's why the principle for all, I mean, laying of hands healing, to multiply it, don't lay in advance, you upgrade by utterance. So you see the 1940 revival, he and the rest were laying hands, laying hands. Some of them died because they laid hands until they were into the night and they died early. Are we together? The people like TLS1 understood it. There can be an upgrade. So we tell you, wherever you are, lift up your hand, lay one hand on that place. Hello? Hello? Do what? Now, when I lay one hand on that place, it's that the same himself laying hands on you. Because there's a technology that when you lay hands on the place of sickness, it will disappear. Go and check Jesus' book of Mark. It was only in hands anyhow. Yes, it was only in hands where the sickness were. Yes. In the ears, in the eyes. But you are praying for somebody who lay hands on dead every time. No. Go and check the book of Mark. Are we together? Yes, this is what I've done for a long time that I'm sharing with us. So I've seen this based on this severally. So, but there are also some other things I'm not saying now. So, what I'm saying now is true, but there are frequency of God in the boundary of God's working. For example, now, I'm going for a meeting and God wants to work in a particular way. I won't say, I'll do it this way. I'll do it together. That means, God will say, this meeting, minister by laying of hands. If I do just speaking, even if there's a result, I've violated a divine trust. Are you with me? Because you can see healing and you are a sinner after the, you are saying the healing. Are you with me? That's why it's a life, a life that is governed that will last the miraculous. Are we together? By the Holy Spirit. Are we together? Are we together? The Lord of glory means the government of glory. That will be governed. That's what Jesus said, I never knew you workers of iniquity. Because what you have done, you have not followed, you have not under government. You can have resort outside government. You have to be very careful. Are you with me? So, huh, oh my God. I don't want Paul to teach you. So, all right. Is anybody here, if you are a member of this church, you are here, you have pain at your back, upper back. Upper back. Anybody like that? Stand to your feet, stand to your feet. You'll be healed now, don't worry, stand to your feet. Just come out and stand here. Come out and stand here. Just, you'll be healed now. So, now listen, listen to this. What I'm saying is this. God speaks to you. When you speak, what happens is that you are not just speaking. What is coming out is all trans, shut all trans. So in all trans, all trans carry Spirits and life. Are we together? Yes, that we activate, I mean, that we establish what God wants to be done. Are you with me? Yes, so if it is for finance to come, it will come. Are we together? Yes, if it's for somebody to get a visa, they'll get a visa. Are you with me? Yes, That's why in the word of knowledge, God speaks to you. You say what God has said. When you are saying it, it's not your normal talking. All trans is at work. Are we together? So, if you understand the power of all trans, you pray for all trans towards every of your meeting. 
But sometimes all trans are sometimes God can even give you particular words to say in a meeting. Or you are praying. Particular words to say your place of prayer to say a change. Am I talking to us? Are we, are we together? Are we together? So that's so meaning that when people say that the word, you know, um, that life and death is the power of the tongue. Are you with me? So you will see that the administering of all the mention of what God does, there is a saying. You say to this man thing. Are we together? But that saying to this man thing is based on the hearing of faith. Galatians. Miracles, the work of miracle among you is by the hearing of faith. So if there's a hearing of faith, you have to cooperate by saying. You don't say there will be no issue. Are we together? But when you say, you will see the result. Because there will be all trans. There will be what? So when you speak, what goes out? Power goes out. So when people pray that way, people start to get healed all over the place. Are we together? Now, all the other dynamics, that like the gift of faith working, working of miracle working. I want to talk about gift of healing working. Now, this one is a signature healing. What's the signature healing? Healing that you can say again and again and again and again. So, most people with a back pain that has been there for a long time, more than a year, or it goes and you come back, usually they have a shorter hand. They have what? When that hand grows out, that pain is gone. Do you get the point now? If it is a lower back pain that's been there for a long time, you usually have. That is my reason of usually so. It's not a formula I'm giving of. I'm together. So they have a shorter leg somewhere. Amen. When the leg grows out, the pain will never come back again. But if it doesn't grow out, they will have the pain to go sometimes they have to come back. If some they pray for them, they can be healed completely. Or sometimes it's just this is just still there. Because why? The imbalance is causing the lower back pain. Are we together? The same thing for the upper back pain. You say you have upper back pain, Abby? Upper back. Back. Just stretch your two hands forward. Just stretch it like that. Hello, just like this. Don't close it. Stretch it very well like that. Now, if you come here now, this lady, stretch your hands very well. This one is shorter. If you are from here, it's shorter. If it's, but the same hand is shorter. That should be their right hand. It's shorter. Are we together? So, the name of Jesus, I said to your right hand now to grow and be the same with the left hand. Right now, the name of Jesus. And your back is healed in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, let it grow. Let it grow like that in the name of Jesus. Grow in the name of Jesus. So, that one is grown. That one is grown. You mean this one? This one is growing already. So, sometimes people even feel it growing. This one is growing already. But it's not yet the same. Every time it's my sister to open her eyes. Hello, just stand very well. All right? Put, stretch this hand very well. It's grown already, but not yet the same. But I let this, my sister's hand, grow. Sorry, my sister, your hand is gone already. It's gone already. Just touch your toe. It's gone. Not, not you. Touch your toe. You are not touching. That's not we touch your toe. Touch it without fear like this. How do you know? <laughs> okay, okay, because of your cloth. Go to the back and touch your clothes. Please. Go to the back and touch your toe. So, if you are touching your toe this way, you will explain here. How you know is if you touch this way? You will know. Amen. All right, my sister. It, bring them together. Um, Lalua is Lalua. Let me check it. Let me check it. No, no, no. No, don't bring them together like that. <laughs> Let Lalua check it. I think it's the same now. But I'm not really. Come, 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 come. The same time, B. All right. Check. Go and check at the back. Oh, you, you have your long set. So touch, touch like this. Do you feel any difference? Come up. Do you feel any difference? Your back. It's gone. That's just it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> now listen. Listen. Is everybody now this one is because it's a signature. It signature means that something that God has given you that you can demonstrate anywhere anytime. Just one point now. So it's called signature healing. You see it almost every time. Now, if I don't see any healing at all, I will see this one. You are it now. Hey, let's go and see that now. <laughs> I appreciate the Lord Jesus for what he has done in our midst. Now, now, is there body with one ear that is deaf? Or one ear problem. Anybody like that? One ear problem. Just come out now. God will hear you now. Now, this money cannot buy it. Are we together? But it's in the glory realm there. Amen. Which of your ears? Okay. So, usually listen to me. Well, I'm doing it because I'm, I'm all of us are working all these things. Now, any ear problem, most of ear problems are demonic. They are what? So, when I told you guys to go and study the book of Mark, you didn't listen to me. So, 
Listen. I think we should pause. I can pray for them immediately. Let me just pray for them. So listen to me. You never see Jesus address a deaf ear and say, just be healed. You address deaf spirit. Go and check all the prayers of Jesus. You will do what? Talk to me now. You will do what? And usually, you will see deaf and dumb. So it's a spirit that causes it. So what happened by a spirit? You can't just pray normal prayer. You have to address the spirit. So in, that's why most diseases are caused by spirit actually too. So in dealing with a, an amen that is spirit-based, when you don't address the spirit, you may not see results of healing. Am I talking to us? And it's biblical. Go and check the scriptures. You'll see it usually. That just are the deaf and dumb spirit. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, this year, in the name of Jesus, we ask that my brother's ear open now, in the name of Jesus. Come on, let me hold the mic. So I command you, deaf spirit, in the left ear to be gone now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. Try and close this one. Close this one. Do you hear that? Okay. It's just like a speaker, like they put something, like microphone, and how it's sounding inside my ear. If I talk, this one is clear, bro. This one, I can see how it is, bro. Okay. This, give you a leg. So, come on, healing in the name of Jesus. We remove the strain. So, ear go back to normal in the name of Jesus. Check it out. There should be a difference. It's not something, it's not something far. Okay. Hmm? Now, okay. What's your own? Just one. What's your own? Yeah, what happened to it? Do you hear with it? Uh -huh. So, I'm asking somebody who doesn't hear with an ear at all. Are you, are you getting my point? But don't worry, just wait. Father, in the name of Jesus, I command this ear to be opened. And I command every spirit of deafness in any form to be gone. In the name of Jesus. Ear drums open. Ear open. Your ear is open in Jesus' name. All right, close that one. You have, have you closed it? The ringing should be gone. Is there any difference now? There should be a difference now. As don't. It's not a rocket science. Go and sit down. Go and sit down. Now, you wait, you wait, you wait. So, it's okay, it's a different thing entirely. I want to pray for him. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of generational expression on this line. You foul spirit, don't worry, just wait. I command you to be gone. I command this ear to be back to normal. Two ears are just to normal now. In the name of Jesus, adjust. In the name of Jesus, let God's power flow through, flow through, flow through, flow through, flow through. Life, life to your ears in Jesus' name. I can hear very well now, yes. Explain what that means. Uh, uh, when Pastor first laid down to me, they think like they put earpod, the speaker inside your ear. So if I'm speaking, I can hear with this one. But it's just like a speaker is here, and I'm hearing very well with this one. So it used to disturb my head, and it used to give me a headache. So when he prayed again, I told him that the thing was today. Like the thing did not leave me, it was today. So as we are just talking now, 
like the thing was still there, but as we are just talking, the thing just left. The thing just left. Eh? Amen. Go and sit down. No, go sit down. Now, that is not healing by faith, though. Are we together? This was healing by anointing. They are not the same thing. I get my points. This is why I don't like doing anything about healing sometimes in some meetings. Meeting my before in my door. I was to preach. I did 58 minutes. I was there to minister to somebody. And at the end of the day, for three hours, it was healing. So, because now I'm meeting to other people's timing. So, I'll pray for you. But what I'm trying to show is this I'm saying all of us here can walk in this. You get my point? The days of just man of God and being sincere with us, that's not God's plan. I'm not saying man of God will not walk in this dimension of life. Part of the equipping of the saints is that the technologies of God from the glory realm that produces the anointed expression, faith and expression for healings to happen. We are all supposed to know it. So our evangelists should not be evangelists will just talk, talk, talk. We go for evangelism. We should have healing at the bus stop. Healing at the suya stop. I'm not talking to us. Healing just right. Healing the end door. Do you get the point now? That's what it's supposed to be. Do we get it? But what has happened is that because you are not even, they've told you that some people have the calling, that you don't have it. You know, some people don't like me teaching this. Some people have attacked me that what I'm teaching that is just for men of God. I said, it's not for men of God alone. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Because people are thinking, that, okay, if I never start healing people, people will leave them. Are we okay at all? So you want to keep around the pulpit because you're afraid that people will leave your church. I'm going to start their own church. Ah, start your church, oh, just stay on hours and say your time. Just stay go say something about it. Glory to Jesus. That's by joke anyway. But what I'm saying is this. If you want to go to church, and you carry the body for one month, you know, but you shall have If God does not call you, the body will kill you. Church work is not a joke. Are we together? So the two years, then, let me just pray. Father, I command that these two years are open. I break every spirit of deafness to go by the power of the Holy Spirit. And I say, yes, open. Open. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, which one is done here? Which one? Which one of them? This one. So, so, so the two now, the two now, this now. So the sound is gone, the sound is gone, and here is normal. Hmm? And the pain also is gone. The pain is gone. Nerves, nerves, nerves are repaired. Nerves, nerves are completely healed. Your ears are healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Try and check it, check it. It's gone. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, understand this. I've prayed for someone for one or two years that there was no healing. But I didn't give up. I keep praying. Because it's not being done for you to be glorified. In fact, at church, you are just telling to do the testimony. I don't have to take testimony. Do you get the point? Do you get the point? So I'm saying this is the will of God for the saints. So the riches of his glory give us dominion over sickness, shout over sickness, Shout over diseases. Shout over nature. Over demons. Over death. Over time. That's why we can see wasted years recovered. That's why God can accelerate us. Do we get the point? And then there is over poverty, bringing supply. Do we get this point? Are you blessed? I've not been able to teach what I want to actually teach for today. I just said, let me recap this one. But it is well. Because in the evening, I want to teach something else. So, instead of letting otherwise, I will not continue this in the evening. But do you get it? So, what I just did was for you to understand that there's a flow from yours into, I mean, to the Holy Spirit, by your spirit, that configures your soul and that affects your body. So, when I'm laying hands on the sick, I know there's the power. Are we together? There's nothing I don't want to say, and I won't say it, but you can even know that the power is there. I mean, tangibly, that is there. I'm not talking to us. I repeat, what do I call it? Tangibly, that is there. I can know if the anointing is flowing as you lay hands. I can know if it's not flowing. Because it's actually, it flows. Go to Jesus. Go to Jesus. And as I watch some of them go as they are praying, they will stretch their hands like this. They are cooperating with God for a radiation to happen so that people are healed. By God's supply of life. Amen. Amen. Is it clear? Now, listen to this also. For people that can take it, 
Sometimes they say you should raise up your hand. It's because there are angels of healing in the meeting that identify you as your hands are lifted up. Angels are not all knowing. You know what God has revealed to them and to his servants. It's God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit that are all knowing. May you have understanding in the name of Jesus. Sound your feet, please. <laughs> are we blessed?